Feminism is a range of socio-political movements and ideologies that aim to define and establish the political, economic, personal, and social equality of the sexes. Feminism holds the position that societies prioritize the male point of view and that women are treated unjustly in these societies. Efforts to change this include fighting against gender stereotypes and improving educational, professional, and interpersonal opportunities and outcomes for women. Have we forgotten what feminism really means? Feminism, a controversial word that still makes many people's eyes roll. Feminism is not a movement aimed at destroying men, but at destroying the patriarchal ideas that are cemented in society. Feminism is not aimed at making men lesser than women, but at improving the status of being a woman so that it's equal to that of being a man. Feminism is not about treating men as trash, but rather pointing out the trash things that some men do that increase the degradation of women. Feminism is not about reversing the status quo and oppressing men, but about challenging the status quo to stop oppressing women. I'd like to talk about an important issue within feminism. Gender-based violence. This is a sensitive topic all over the world because the idea of rape in particular has been non-existent in the past. Rape was not rape. Rape was a woman who had asked for it. It was shameful and women were resented for being abused. Rape was not a topic up for discussion. Recently, with movements like METU, more and more people have been sharing their experiences of sexual abuse. It has become a more openly discussed topic now than ever before. Many women have spoken up and made accusations. And in response to no one's surprise came comments such as she's lying. Why only come out now? She's trying to sabotage an innocent man. What was she wearing? She was drunk, yes, but she consented so it's not rape. The list goes on to anyone asking the question. If a woman was raped 30 years ago, why only come out now? I can give you an answer. Rape was not up for discussion in the past. As soon as it became a topic, that was no longer so much of a taboo. And as soon as more people were supporting women who sought justice for the offense committed against them, women decided it was time. Time to stop holding back and to stop feeling guilty for someone else's wrongs. Time to use their voices and turn the tables on the powerful men who thought they could get away with abuse because she was asking for it or she consented, even though she had been underaged or intoxicated. Or how could I have controlled myself with her looking like that? Men who don't rape, don't abuse, don't seek superiority, it's also your job to stand up against those who do. If you are a man who supports equality for all, doesn't support patriarchal views on sexual abuse, doesn't treat women as objects, doesn't stereotype women as emotional and unfit to be in charge, then you are a feminist. Being a feminist is not just for women, but for all who support equality. If you are sexualizing a woman because of what she wears, and if you think that it gives you the right to sexually abuse her, the problem is with you, not with her. If you see intoxicated consent as consent, you are mistaken. If you think that an underage child's consent gives you any rights over her, you are wrong. And if you think that the patriarchal ideas of society will protect you from justice, then again you are mistaken. The movements will not stop. Feminism will not stop and you will not beat them. So educate yourself on equality for all, on the accurate statistics of rapes and sexual assaults, on the reality for women in the world. You might surprise yourself and find that feminism is not a tool to defeat the male species, but rather to empower all people in the world to enjoy equal rights and freedom of choice. Who knows whether male or female, you might just find that you are a feminist.